I caught up with Jack and his family a few days ago. Have a look at this. What started out as a few gags has become an online industry. Sherry and I did a prank a while back where she pretended to be pregnant and we were lifting up a carpet and we asked people for help. You're supposed to be happy, not her. It was a funny video, but I felt like we really missed sort of an opportunity to engage a little bit more with people. What if we go like in front of Home Depot or Lowell's and Oh, making you like lift the bricks or something else just really big and awkward and heavy. Where are we gonna get a belly? I can take care of this. Jack Vale's public pranks have 230 million views. His YouTube channel has 1.2 million subscribers. More than 3,000 people have fallen victim to his unique brand of humor. When you can make somebody laugh out in public, it yeah, brightens their day. Jack's wife, Sherry, and their six kids are all in on the jokes, designed for maximum exposure on social media. It just sort of organically kind of, you know, happened. I think because there's a lot of laughter in our house, and, and we're always just kind of having fun and making jokes and playing games and, you know, spending a lot of time together, so it was a pretty natural thing to gravitate toward that. Jake, Madsen, Ashley, Chris, and even little Jasmine and Jackson will do anything it takes to get a laugh, including taking cough medicine. Keep them calm. Oh. Yeah. There's a D in that that speeds them up. There's a what? There's a calming and a speedy in there. Yeah, but it we try to give them an overabundance. Them we try to give them an overabundance so that it's like so that it, they hopefully the goal is to get them to take a nap. <laughs> give her some more. I, I, honest to God, I'm not comfortable with that. It, 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 if you take too much Benadryl, it makes you agitated. It's dangerous. Well, they're not sick or anything like that. They're, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. As a physician, do not do that. Do not do that. It's just Benadryl. Do not do that. <laughs> I, I can't ethically allow you to do that in my presence. First thing that we did is talk to um, some of the producers of the show and figure out a way, a good plan of action to prank you. <laughs> and, we, and we thought... <laughs> <laughs> I was so uncomfortable doing this. I was excited, but I was also very uncomfortable because it's not how we are. And I'm like, I hope I do a good job. I hope you we did pull it. this You did a good off, job. So. I feel thoroughly disrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> good, well done. I'm, I'm, I'm properly pumped. It's hard to keep a straight face there. The Vales are laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah. And their attitude about family and fun has made their bond even stronger. Oh, there's been no trouble, no evidence of trouble. Um, are you mad at me for anything? Do we have any deep-rooted uh, problems? No. It's, it, if you dig a little deeper. No, it's, it, you know, we just have, we have so much fun, fun together. together. It's yeah. really, really fun. He's my best friend. Yeah, we are best friends, it's true. There, There is components of that, uh, punk they did, that prank they did on me that you did not see, where he was looking behind him going, which you kids been drinking? And uh, he did that like about three times, and I said, look, I don't get between adolescents and their parents here, but uh, if you want some help, I'm here. And then they did the Benadryl thing, and I was all the way in at that point. They were great. I had a lot of fun with them. They have a lot of fun together, clearly, and you can, of course, see for yourself. It's quite something to be the object. They were, they were very skillful in how they rolled it out. It sucked me in. You should have seen my body language. I was I was mortified.